Okay, so we are doing 3.2 now, solving this differential equation by various new parameters. We know that the solutions to the homogeneous version of the equation are x and x cubed because that's given in the previous question. So this whole version of parameters thing is going to involve it's going to involve setting up that matrix, which will give us solve that matrix equation to give us u dash and v dash, then integrate those and then integrate those in terms of x and then put them into this uh, equation. So it's the various parameters says that y equals um, u u1 y1 plus u2 y2, right, where this y1 dash, y2 dash, oh, sorry, no, y1, y1 dash, y2, y2 dash, times by the matrix vector u1 dash u2 dash equals 0, and then you have this f of a thing. Um, so let me just replace all these things with the actual values that we have. So oh, so y1 was, was x, y2 is x cubed. So here we have x and 1, and here we have x cubed and 3x squared. And then this last entry that I haven't written down yet, that's going to be the thing on the right of the equation, which is x squared divided by the coefficient in front of the second derivative, which is also x squared. So we just, it's just, just 1 in this case. Now we need to solve this, this matrix equation to find the u1 and the u2 dash. So So this says that what that u one dash. It says that u one dash u two dash. I think I can probably solve this by inspection. So the x and the x cube have got to cancel. So that means x and the, for the, at the top the x and the x cube must cancel. So that means that the u one and u two dash. It means that the u1 dash must have u1 dash must have must be like yeah must be like x squared times the u2 dash to get them cancel. But then in the second thing, no, actually it must be minus that, right? To get them to cancel. And then the second thing, you have. The, the second row gives you a 1, so that means that the u1 dash has to be just a constant, because we're trying to get 1. And then you add 3x squared, that, so that's also got to be, it means the u2 dash must be something like x to the minus 2 times some constant. But then those things, when you add, when you add them together, you've got to get one. Now, one of them is going to be negative. So, let's make u one dash negative because it's a it's a smaller thing, and we want a positive. We want a positive one. So, if the difference of one and three, we want that to be come to actually not to not one and three. So, so like minus one plus three will be two. We actually want half of two. We want half. So, if we make u1 dash minus a half, and we make u2 dash half x to the minus 2, I think that should do it. So I think what we'll do it is we have a half 1 x to the minus 2. Okay, let me just check this. So x, on the top row you get x 
Oh, no, I remember I turned the minus there. Top row, you get minus x plus x, 0. And the second row, you get minus 1 plus 3, which is 2 divided by half. Okay, 1, yes. Okay, so that's u1 dash and u2 dash. Uh, this was just rough work then. Um, uh, so now we need to get to actually get u1 and u2, we just integrate. So u1 and there's no reason to write there's no reason to kind of write them in a vector now. So u1 is then the, the integral in terms of x of minus a half, so it's minus a half x. Uh, plus c. That's not important because uh, y we can account for that that c by here adding on the the general homogeneous solution, which is of course a x plus b x cubed, right? Um, so where was I? My u one is going to be minus a half x. U two could be u2 would be, uh, what, it's integral of that, so x to the minus 1, and there's a half there, so that's going to be a minus a half though, because the minus 1 comes down and makes a minus sign, is that right? Yeah, that, that's good. So all this means that, well, we've already written down the answer technically, but it might simplify in some nice way, so it might have minus a half x now squared with an extra x there, plus, oh, no, minus a half, then x to the minus 1, x cubed, get you x squared, yes, there is a cancellation, is a, a nice, uh, not cancellation, but a grouping of terms here, so that's what y is, um, and then that means that y actually is just minus x squared, plus ax plus bx cubed. So to check that, we should just check that minus x squared actually is a particular solution to this non-homogeneous system, to the non-homogeneous equation. Sorry. So minus x squared. So if you yeah, so if, if y equals minus x squared, then y dash equals minus two x. Y dash dash equals minus two. So this equation becomes x squared. So minus two x squared minus three uh, x. Uh, Actually, you get plus 6x squared, and then 3 times y, so that's minus 3x squared. Now, does that equal x squared? Indeed it does. Yes, so that was a particular solution, so this whole thing is correct. Okay. That wasn't so bad.